And we're back and I had a quick look around all these places and just kind of checking on our income in all of them. Definitely noticed that Castile could use a few upgrades because uh, they could potentially become quite a nice little earner. But also Portugal has once more become unloyal. Kind of getting annoying. But I uh, can't think of much else to do. Uh, we can we can increase town guard. Doesn't really make a difference. We could keep increasing from castle, uh, like our main building. We could do churches. Churches might help. Definitely build a tavern. Yeah, I think we'll just have to literally chuck those all in because we're using it for our ship building anyway, so not much else really to worry about there. Alright, and applied aside from that even, let's quickly grab our new reinforcements, keep them all moving. They've all moved. Yep, and we're still sieging them. Do we have anyone? Yes, we do. We'll lay siege. It's only a Actually, I don't even know if it is a full Moss and Bailey, but it's a... I'm just gonna say it's rubbish then, but actually they're not bad to be honest. <laughs> At least not this early, considering all we have is the ballastay. Yes, that is the plural. Had to look that one up. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna do? That's what I was gonna do. Look in here quickly for the catapult stuff is being built. They're all good. Over here, we need our armorer's workshop so we can start upgrading towards our better infantry and our knights. I believe everywhere else is Kushti, so we will end there. It's going to be a lot of back and forth now, just trying to get economies in order. What's that? 90 odd versus 70 odd. Yeah, give us a save and auto resolve. Thank you. Oh, we got a ransom that time. Marvelous. Wait, what's that? Oh, the Archbishop of Canterbury. Okay. I'm getting confused then. Who died? Right, over in Algeria, you can keep going, as can you. Do we have our thingy of... Yes, Duke of Algeria, there we are. You hop back over. Now Tunisia is once more ours. We want an inn, post haste. And a watchtower. Actually, watchtower first, it only takes a turn. Have a quick look through our rubbish units. I don't think we have peasants in these armies. Yeah, I didn't think so. How about urban militia? Okay, we go with these ones. Not great. Ooh, not great. We really want that dread and piety. That spearman. Oh, that's a little bit better. Very pious. A little bit better acumen. Okay, I think we're between these two. So we've got lots of piety, a little bit of dread, a little bit of acumen. And this is a bit more even. But his loyalty is higher. I think we'll go for them. Better loyalty. I'm pretty sure the, the dukedom does actually improve loyalty as well. I think it's just by one. But, at least then we know we won't, won't have many problems here now. With our 400 income. Marvellous. Right, keep our boats coming down. That's going to be a very long-term goal there. Me up that? Yes. More spears. Because they have tons of cavalry. Am 
might end up with too many spears at this rate. Alright, how are their armies looking? We beat them up quite nicely last time. Kind of rubbish, actually. Uh, if we chuck... Ugh, problem is then that we're just going to overextend again. And we'll need them for... A, uh, we'll give it one turn for some reinforcements to show up and then we'll move on. I think we'll just have to stagger it each time. And yes, once they build that, we can then build a, called a church there. That'll help out. We're called Dober. Always troublesome. Producing some nice units now. Don't want... Do we want Ballastay here? Feel like we do. Yeah. Because the Germans are not going to give us much chance to reinforce, so... Kind of need all the armies ready to make a, a nice dent. Try and take sort of four regions or if possible five in two turns. That would really make a hit on them. How are they doing? 25%? Oh, horrendous. Okay. Turns are slowing down once more, unfortunately, but onwards to the next one. Ooh, Hungarians are gone. Quite early, actually. <laughs> Murderous temper, but they're pious. So they kill the right infidels? <laughs> uh, oh, don't want you. You chilling there. Okay, start moving these across a little, just checking our loyalty as we go. The majority of movements done. Yeah, go on. They're rubbish units. We'll smash them. That's a lie. They're actually pretty good units, but <laughs> it's fine. We have tons of spears. Their unit composition is terrible. Oh, they're still okay on very high. Marvelous. They're at 47. Oof. Religious conversion, taking its time. Could use that second in just to be getting some more troops. Uh, sorry, troops. More priests. That's what we're looking for. They're still building. Keep popping them in. The Rs, who are you? Okay. Egyptian emissary. There's our emissary moving on. Yay! Catapults. I like catapults. I'm trying to think is it worth building one of these just to get some assassins? I'm going to say yes. We won't bother with them because we want that to build our, what do you call them? We're totally gone now. What do you call them? Siege weapons. That's it. I was like, the things you lay siege with. Wait, that that's literally what it's called, isn't it? <laughs> okay, they're down to 3%. That's definitely coming along keep them moving that was it got to grab our boats 
The Byzantines moving around as well. Ooh, they've got quite a bit of control over there. How long do we have for them? One more turn. So that'll be two, three, four, five, six. We need eight of them. Ah, it's going to be a while, but can't be helped. God, are we earning anything from that? Nah. Just wanted to see if maybe the boats had led us to trade, but oh well. Alright, we appear to be losing money quite a bit, so we might have to spend a few turns on economics soon. But until then, moving on. Keep your pride, be it secret or not. Is it still good? Yeah. Well, I don't think we're gonna have too many troubles moving these troops around because I mean this place is ours, or at least was. the baluster you do lay siege don't want to lose any troops sieging them we're just going to take it as quick as we can we'll lose men if we waste too long what do they have over in egypt ah oh, we can't see it they do have two full stacks well we have <laughs> i'd like to say we have two full stacks at least i don't think we quite have three though Maybe like two and a half, two and three quarters. But a lot of them are spears. And if they're mostly bringing horses, we do trump them. We actually put them in the other. Did the king. Thinking, is that too many men? I can't remember now. No. Good. We get one more in there. Excellent. All right, king set. Just these. Actually, I might. Is it worth combining them? No. We can work on adding troops to them. Portugal's getting angry again. Quick check, and yeah, everything looks good. Okay, so we're going to siege them. And these will have three, four... Oh, rebels! Take them! Quickly! <laughs> Before the Germans take it back. Oh, that's great. We can steal some territory and don't have to go to war with anything more major. Keep our emissary moving back. Find us more rebels. Oh, Germans must have overextended. Oh, good news for us. Anyway, I'm going to have to run quickly. Put the AC on because my days is it hot in Australia. Oh, never thought I'd say it, but I miss South Korea. Anywho, yes, I'm going to quickly run off, come back, and then we will continue to the next turn. That's so much better. So, with everything done, moving on. Well, I'm in a tiny little room with no than. <laughs> AC needed. Aha! Germans pull back to Usa's ours. That's just auto resolve this but wow we do not have many force many forces much in the way of a force there we go auto resolve ransom received excellent egypt is going to be building troops again oh cool the Aragonese are back 
How many are they? Oh, we, we can't actually find out, unfortunately. Making sure we're not at war with them or the Germans after that maneuver. And no, we're all good. Oh, we could take Burgundy. That is a tempting thing to do. Unfortunately, Genoa is, I believe that's Italian, annoyingly. Good regions to have is uh, pretty much all of Italy. Not only are you near to the Pope, you've also got some good sort of like trade route areas. Like you can just have good access to most seas. Okay, Aragon is still touching Aquitaine, so it's not yet worth going there. They've got plenty of Balisay, so let's chuck one in here. Let's see, we want one of you, 100%. I'm actually gonna see if we can't upgrade this place, get Toulouse as a, a new a new forward base, I guess. I mean, it's definitely in a nice position to attack tons of places. It's good to have it well defended. These guys are all pious, but yeah, they're Catholic. We don't need piety. We need dread. I got so far best is three from a spearman. Oop, three from archers. Yeah, I'd rather use archers as the defenders. Do need some more archers somewhere as well. Build them at Valencia. Yeah, eight percent. That's maxed out, so we can start working towards troop stuff there. Seeing where <laughs> where is not doing something that we could do it. Yeah, I don't think we can really recruit many. The only downside of making recruitment in select areas. Do need a recruitment center around here somewhere. We're probably not going to have time in Sirencia to actually... Or or even whatever. Probably not going to have time to actually do much here, but I'll chuck a, a few things on production. Inn's going to be more important. Good, but at least having an inn in Tunisia, we can hire troops if we get pushed back. We've got a nice little stream of support, reinforcements coming forward. I think everywhere else is very high. Quick looksy doodles everywhere is green. 3% still. Oh. Can't be helped, can't be helped. Alright, so what are we looking for? Somewhere to build, somewhere to recruit, but everywhere is building. What can they recruit? Just peasants. Okay. They got our catapults coming. We're going to need those catapults. I'm so tempted to take the risk against Burgundy. I might actually have two. Oh, well. Who's the better force? You're the better force. Let's see if we can stick some more troops in. Have you let us? No. Ah, that's why we grabbed the wrong one. They have about, yeah, they got one. Let's give them some more. Can't fit them. Okay. Full army. Go take on those peasants. Really see what they are. They peasant. Take on the peasants. I assume they're peasants. They are rebels, after all. Which them all turn out to be like elite infantry. <laughs> Anywho, that looks about done. Our economy is definitely dwindling at this point. So, ooh, I forgot. We haven't put that on very high yet. So, once we get Burgundy, 
unless there's like a ton more rebel places to grab it is gonna have to be a stop we need some time just to build up build up our money anywho next turn let's see what it brings Ooh, who are we supporting? Against the Germans. Okay. Not yet. <laughs> we just don't want to be at war with them yet. We're quite quite stretched as it is. Ooh, Ile de France is under siege. I don't fancy being at war. I think this is going to have to be our press into Europe for now. And we'll just build up our build up our defence. Try and get someone with dread. Try and get our economy a bit better. Back up to like two thousand, three thousands. Well at least we can recruit some tasty troops here. See, yeah, let's just let's just do economic stuff there. We don't really need much else. They're not known for anything. What are they known? Chivalric Knights. Okay, they're pretty good. Fair enough. But, yeah, we, we don't really need all that much. Good God, are these four turns apiece? No, two years. Uh, let's build economic stuff. Even you, you're going to have to go economic after this. Go economic, build our trade, hoping for more. Oh well. Alright, let's grab these troops, keep them moving on. We want to hold back Egypt as much as we can. We are still at war with them. Yes. They're the only people we're at war with. Awesome. I think that was right. Yeah, just the one. Keep it like that for as long as we can. Uh, yes, we do want some cav because they didn't have enough last time. We couldn't run down a lot of their units, which was kind of annoying to be honest. Um, what should we make him? We're still making almost 2,000. So I am going to keep these guys recruiting. of them. How much do they cost again? 62. You know what? For what I use them for, I think these will be perfectly adequate. They're just really there to chase down, in case of Egypt, the desert archers, I believe they are. And of course, run down any sort of spearmen, peasants or whatever that are running away. So it's more, more the speed, just a fast unit. Like, light cab will do quite nicely. Okay, we need these armies to build up defensively. Get some... Yeah, give, give them a catapult per place. That I'll have to do for now. Just work on giving them... That's not bad. Lots of spears, four bows is all you need. One cav is a bit annoying. Wouldn't mind some more. I'll have to do. Just making sure each of them are building. And yep. Onwards to the next turn. I was wondering when they'd be attacking. Alright, what have they got? Ooh. Saracen infantry. They've improved. But they've only got one of them. Everything else is the same rubbish. Peasants, urban militia. They've got the cab covered, but we should have a lot. Yeah, lots of spearmen all at the end, unfortunately. Oh, 
fine just switching them. Switching the order a little bit. I don't think it makes too much of a difference in this case because we're going to have three units of cav, four units of cav. Don't want all that cav. Well, we do want him because he's a level seven, but he'll probably get killed. Then we have a six. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. All right, save in case it crashes and let's defend. Let's see how many we can kill. Good God, it's a perfectly straight line. <laughs> it looks so weird. Anywho, Thurinacia, let's let's think about where to go. We are gonna have our reinforcements coming from back here, so we don't want to be too far away. And we have a lovely hill. Let us plonk ourselves on the hill. Far at will. to go a little bit more forward actually pull them back a little bit Just spread them out so they have a clean shot oh that's a lot of infantry don't click on the troops there we go our main deal is going to be our spears and the cavalry has a tendency to come out onto the flanks which makes sense I mean that's what you want them to do but when they're slowly walking them it's kind of pointless and we'll keep our cav all back here apart from our king who will just kind of chill in the middle all right so the spearmen are going to be ready to charge into the middle if we need it all our cav are back here to defend, some royal knights, mounted sergeants. Yeah, that was alright. Speed it up. We want them to come to us. We want them to exhaust themselves. That's how you win battles of attrition. Excellent. Right, so shooting already. Wish you had the... They've killed this many written next to it, but oh well. They shooting at for that map. Ah, it's still missing down there. Okay, they brought lots of archers with them. Got the Saracen infantry. Camel. Oh, they actually brought more infantry and like archers than I thought they would. Would have thought the first hit would have been a lot of, a lot of cav. Same as last time, just kind of want the, the baluster to use up its ammunition so we can retreat them and replace them. Uh, we might be in need of who's more beaten up. Who's that? 40, 17, we'll use them. Is there over that side? Yes. You can charge into their infantry slash archers. They seem to be moving all their cav around the edge. Sergeant. Oh, wow, they ran away quick. What are they? Nubian spearmen. keep an eye over here as we get our cav to attack their archers. Ooh, don't want the spearmen. 
mounted sergeants. Go after their archers as well. Can we get a nice little charge in? Ooh, there's a few dead already. Excellent. guys moving around not entirely sure what the AI is doing over there that's fine we can just separate them up keep killing them ah here come the camels pull them back pull them back away do not turn around and charge Oh, we actually got a flank in there as well. Charge right into the side. See if we can't pull back through the spears. Better camera control would be nice. Oh, well. All right, Spearman, get in there. don't have another unit of spears but what we can do is pull them around try and hit the the flank okay let's keep an eye on them and over here So got a little surrounding there. Okay, they pulled back. That's good. What are they doing, actually? Can we get them just to attack? fighting going on over there we will need to get round to them pull those spears back Ooh, what happened there god a bodyguard came in that's not good Saracen infantry have arrived let's send some of our men at arms to deal with them they are now out of ammo. Get out of there. Might send a second set to help out. You come over here. Oh god, we're just basically moving all of our infantry around. Like the battle line has just shifted completely. They're all retreating. That makes sense. Ulam Ulam bodyguard? Ulam bodyguard. I've uh, basically minced them. Ooh. There we are. Archers. More archers. Get them to set up. Once our spearmen return, we send them in. Yeah, it's just a case of like we break, they break, we break, they break. Oh well. The portrait of a royal milk sop. The enemy king flees. Okay, we want to grab. We don't want to happen what happened last time, but we had that move forward, and then we just kind of broke. Let's bring back all our troops speed this up a bit. And once we've reorganized, then we will advance.
What's up with them? I might just route them now. Grab some reinforcements. Gonna get the one. Ah, they haven't run away yet. Route indeed. We are on defense, so time does not matter. Reorganize these troops. We're just gonna make two lines. Since they're cavalry heavy, let's actually put the spearmen in front. They're sure over here. Ooh, they're not even in yet. Grab the cav. King. Where are they? Oh, yeah, they aren't even in the map yet, that's fair enough. to do a bit of a, a search for them unfortunately now okay let's grab these guys group them up let's grab all of these guys and them why not it's just gonna make them easier to move and them okay in search of Saracen Kill ratio massively in our favor. Nice to see. Right. Aim to keep the king near. There they are. I see them right over in the side. They just showed up and ran away. Fair enough. Oh well, we still win. Hoping for a, a few more kills there, but oh well. Excellent. These alliances will become invalid. English, French, and the papacy or papacy depending how you wish to pronounce it they're gonna decline i'd love to be friends with the germans but can't lose those allies and i don't mind dropping burgundy or even dropping burgundy and toulouse we should be able to hold them though depends what the germans throw at us Yeah, I was going to say, the, the real worry is if they actually try to come into Spain. We haven't got amazing defences over here in Spain. I'm going to send a set of troops over to Nevers just in case. So that is a, a bit of a worry. We can get assassins over in Portugal. Mind, uh, wouldn't mind them, to be honest. Quite useful. All right, they're now in the Gulf of Siora. We need to go one more to the Nile coast, then we can move into Egypt and Siora. Ooh, Egypt and Cyrenassia. Which may add up to nine boats needed now I think about it. I don't think I counted on that. Oh, well. Keep our reinforcements moving and it will be fine. Extra spears arriving. Who's alive? Who is alive? So many of them. But it is mostly peasants. They do seem to have lost a lot of their cavalry, which is good. Because we have men at arms. We can smash peasants. We don't care about them. 
Egypt, you may well fall. Huzzah. How angry are they? Not as bad as I'd thought. Cool, cool. And everywhere else, let's do a quick shift press. Everywhere else is doing good. Troops are recruiting. Who is that? Huh. Catholic bishop and priest. He's going to be preaching the wrong religion, isn't he? Two percent. How dare they? Start building churches in places soon. I think everywhere really needs to be looking towards getting castles. Sometime in the near future. Might actually... If they finish their economic stuff, might as well chuck that on next. They've got their inns building, their building and recruiting, which is good because we need troops over here. Fact, I think spears will be quite nice over here as well. Or maybe not. Yeah, if it's just the Germans, might not need them. It's, it's uh, the French and the English tend to have quite a lot of the, the hobblers, so you really do need spearmen to deal with them. But the Germans seem to have gone to their strength. Ugh, oh, order foot soldiers, marvelous. Uh, which is infantry. German infantry is pretty darn amazing. In which case, we'll grab two, just because they're nice, but we'll stick with majority men at arms. It also means our cav is going to be very useful over here. Let's get some more of them. Always good to chuck some cavalry in a rear charge. Smash the infantry out. And we are bleeding florins. Ah oh, well. We do have some places on economic building, but we're going to have to focus that down a little. That's on low, because it has to be... Ugh. Overextension, how I hate thee. Anywho, we'll continue on and consolidate a little bit for a while. Just build up that economy again. I keep saying we're going to do it, but... War and rebels that were useful. Can't be helped. <laughs> Ooh, Egyptians are retreating. Marvellous. Yeah, here's where the insufficient funds come in. Yeah, I'll join with the Byzantines. We like you guys. How far will Egypt pull back? Oh, we can recruit troops here, but we can't recruit anything good. I right, built that first. I'm tempted to get the spear maker. Yeah, at least then we can order some slightly better troops. Dread bit of piety would be nice. You know what that'll do. Oh, not you. Was someone else I was clicking. Spearman. Come on out. There we go. Alright, that will help a little bit, but mostly. Mostly it'll just help with the piety, because we're going to have to convert all these places still. Oh, none of them are particularly dreaded. It's annoying. Why is everyone so pious? I don't really want to give up the men-at-arms, to be honest. Alright, we'll wait. Hopefully someone will show up we can stick in Cyrenacia. Yeah, we have more troops to pop in. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like I could leave them, but I really want to fight with them, so nah, not worth the trade yet. Ooh, they're on low now, though. They're very low. Most unfortunate. These 
economy should be pretty much done, to be honest. So I actually think... How many, what, three more turns? I don't even think we need that many. Definitely want the catapults to keep building. Once this army is fully stocked. May well be be the end. That may well be it. Yeah, so a quick look through. Good, we have some economic buildings coming through. A lot of 60% I saw there. Trade, 80% coming through. They are finished over here. Is that third level gold? Complex, nice, nice. Uh, in your case, then, build us a church. That'll help with the conversion. Also, then we can start getting a few more priests. The unit of spears, oh, they're not good at all. Looking for something awesome and not seeing anything. <laughs> 2k profits though, we are improving that way, at least. Um, I suppose it's more just a case of hopefully the Germans have enough to deal with. That basically they leave us alone for a little while. Might send them to propose an alliance with the Aragonese. They got these troops out of nowhere, man. They're actually pretty good. Nice. Anywho, that'll do for this turn. Yep, moving on. Mm, still insufficient. far away. Um, we're probably better off being allied with the Italians, but everyone hates them. I mean, I'm pretty sure they were excommunicated. I'm going to say no. The Aragonese have rejected our proposal. Unfortunately. I don't know what to do with this guy. Uh, just go there. Why not? Good thing we have our construction over here done. Finished our watchtower in Egypt. Let's see what they have. Hmm. Well, it's not a whole lot of cav. What are they? Okay. Yeah, this is really what they were then. It confused me. Um, yeah, it appears they have a bit bit better unit composition. It's still not great for them. Uh, but most of the infantry is just peasants. So... Can we get away with just attacking them? Just see if I put this on very low. No, it's a 44. Oh... Uh, if we leave them behind, we're totally fine. Him. And let's just grab lots and lots of troops. Still good? No. This is what I'm thinking. The extra time. Yes, they could build up troops and such. But it will give us a chance just to help out with, like, the loyalty. We could also carry on building our armies a bit. Have this on very high as well, because it's a nice little learner is Egypt. We have new reinforcements coming in, yep. Because we have tons of reinforcements moving down. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's going to be worth just leaving it not too much longer. Do need to take Egypt out fairly soon. They're on 90 odd. 40 odd, 30 odd. Yeah, everything's still really high when it comes to our conversion. Pop them over there. What's that? Destroy the Royal Court, because that's, that's an Islamic building. From the, the Almohads, actually. Wow. It's been a while. We should have destroyed that quite a bit ago. maxed so we can pop them over there to help the Toulousian army. Toulousian? I feel like that's the correct word. Yeah it's hit an odd pause in Europe. I do think that when we do take on the Germans eventually we're just gonna have to give up Burgundy like just move the troops in Tanjo and Aquitaine, Brittany then Normandy and try and create a line against them because otherwise we're going to be fighting way too many fronts. Alright, quick run through everyone building. Grand in a bit, well two grand in a bit a turn. Keep these guys moving because we want our we do actually want to be able to transport troops via the sea eventually. Right now I'm having to use the coast. Alright, that will do. Onwards to the next turn. Spending too long on this is it, it's not good. Make the moves, get on with the day, see what the AI responds with. Excellent church done. Farmlands, that's good. We've got lots of places earning us a little more. Hungarians are back. Marvellous, good for them. Good for them. Uh, you just keep building money, to be frank. Let's get them up to very high, because these really not earning much at all. Ha <laughs> ha, they make, oh, I forgot to say it's beer, but it's wine, whatever. Enjoy your wine. Grabbing troops. They probably have enough cavs, so I might move them up to a different army. So you're going to send these guys down to Egypt as well, just while we need to need a few, a few more superior troops. I don't think anywhere else is building or anything. We think, we hope, we pray. Very low. I can see that taking a good sort of two, maybe even three battles just to wipe them out. Because they're going to be able to pull back each time. Uh, even if we win into like Palestine, Tripoli, etc. Our troops quite beaten up, or are they okay? They're actually all right. We've got a few, you know, four men here and there, but majority are okay. Then we're there, so you can see them a little better. And then down the coast. Move a priest over to Morocco, help them out a little bit. Yeah, I need to replace that, so let's upgrade that uh, to oh, it would be a castle at that point. Is that a keep? Keep. Upgrade them to a keep so we can then replace our town watch. 
Ooh, you guys, what should we do for you? You're doing pretty good on everything, aren't you? Yeah. What's it worth building? Because you're more for economic than anything. Build me a church. Yes, we want Cordoba to have a church to get rid of the last bit of bad times there. Unhappy peoples. Uh, these are all building, 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 building. We're going to have like zero money for a while. In Egypt is building. Alright. Oh, let's... Yeah, let's keep going. Not going to attack Egypt just yet. Weighing that decision. Weighing and delaying. Italians are gone. Egyptians. Yeah, insufficient funds. Standard. Okay. Oh, they're starting to get actual good units in there. Might have to hit them just to get rid of some of those troops. Don't really want to build up too much in Egypt because we are probably going to lose it. I'm expecting to have to fall back to either Tunisia or Algeria again. Uh, let's hit them now while they're mostly peasants and whatever rebels show up we'll deal with. Oh wow, we don't have any troops to put into Cyrenassia. Syren oh, that's just made life a little harder. We can grab... One unit in here. And let's grab just something rubbish. Oh, please come out, okay? All right, 65. Uh, the militia. Oh, no. Unit 5. Not going to make a big difference, but I'd rather they be out. Come on. Only it things up for some reason. Alright, 78%. Eight. Almost there. Any more militia, peasantry, unit of 12 archers, that'll do. See, those are good units now. Um... Hum, hum, hum. Who should we drop? Two star. I don't like that. But they're Jeanettes anyway. We don't like Jeanettes. I have to drop a unit of spearmen by the looks of it. Yeah, that'll do. One unit of spears in. Okay, we'll see how many we can kill. This isn't really to take anything. It's also just to see what the AI does, because they appear to own most of the areas around it. Do Egypt. I don't fancy them building up too many good troops either. Right, let's just quickly move these... Think they're coming over. Do you want them? No. Okay, they're going to come over to Toulouse. Building, building, building. Everything is building. On we go. Ho oh ho! That came out of nowhere. All right, I'm going to use this chance to save. And let's have a look through their reinforcements very quickly. I'm going to weigh up uh, how much 
of a chance of anything there is for this. Alright, so let's be a few secs. Okay, so basically just move these around a bit to start off with some cav. Because uh, if they're going to have a lot of archers, we're just going to want to try and hit them as quickly as possible. Same thing as always, two units of archers and the baluster. Run them away as soon as they're out of ammunition and bring in a new set of archers. Might even move that to three archers with more cav coming in after. And then after that, I don't really care too much because I kind of expect... I kind of expect to time out before our reinforcements are needed. Yes. Alright, saved. Okay, so I, What do we look like? Calm weather? Well, yeah, we're fighting this one, and we? We're actually attackers. Uh, which does mean the baluster could potentially be useless. Uh, so let's pop it actually over here right at the front, and if they can't hit anything, we'll just retreat them. Alright, let's begin battle. Don't get the opportunity to move like we did before, so... I have to spend a little bit yeah, it looks like they are literally just pulling all the way back to the edge of the map. They're gonna do what we did. Touche, touche AI. All right, let's move all our troops. Uh, they're just gonna have to retreat. Goodbye, Ballister. We knew you well. Keep running. Ah, route. Keep going. Got my eye over here. And they're gone. Alright. Let's bring in reinforcement position, like right over there. Best reinforcements, a new set of archers. Be the supper tad. Did say we're expecting just to time out each time. Also means those ballasters are just going to be useless in assaulting, uh, at least outside of sieges. But ah oh well. Okay, that will be us done. Speed up, get everyone in position. Cool. We can start to move. How are we going to do this? Let's grab all the archers to attack them. And move these right up into the enemy positions. Ooh, no cult. A cult click to add them all together. And move our cavalry out to this side and see if we can't come in and just start hitting a few of their archers while they move their infantry towards us. Run. 
run away. Please don't run towards them. Come on. There we go. be able to defeat quite a lot of their units to be honest uh, with our men arms the Nubians and all that lot go get in there take on those Saracen cavalry excellent that unit's done rebuild Build. <laughs> just trying to. I love how they just sort of like turn around, nope, change their minds. Uh, you guys do not pursue. into a cluster got to keep the lines good somewhat okay let's get them shooting again where is Kingy over here you move up you move up need to help out this unit of feudal sergeants, really. Second unit of feudal sergeants come in and just help with the Nubian spears. Get them chasing down some of their men as well. them pretty well for this. Of course, the next problem is going to be what do they bring after. They have a ton of reinforcements. Still going. Oh, their bodyguards are stupidly powerful. The enemy general reveals his true colours as a coward and flees. Okay, that's cool. We don't mind that. Let's grab you guys. Ugh, we can click on you. I can't. Drawing circles is so much easier. Ugh. You, you, and... Oh, I can't click on anything. To hell with it. Let's just grab them. Whoever we can, whenever we can. Cavalry, let's send some of them out. Deal with the others. What are they? Desert archers, yeah. Oh, them, them, them. 
Move up. They all peasants. Damn. Get in there. Kill them. Chasing down and killing their archers. Wow, this is going pretty well, actually. Can't actually get into that flank, unfortunately. now in the dodgy position though of being right on their doorstep which for now is okay as we just deal with ooh, the remainders of these archers Excellent, they're just showing up and running away. They can kill them. I think they're tired at this point. Yeah, totally exhausted. Oh, yes. Encouraged by the general's reputation of being one lone dude. Alright, speed this up a bit. Because, yeah, they're just going to appear and disappear each time. Kind of cheating, but it'll win us the match. Ooh, they made it a bit further than the others. Getting worried there. Okay, we can't deal with Saharan cavalry. So please, yes, running away. Ooh, no, it won't let me unclick where's our good old king put them there and speed it up excellent that's how you win without actually playing Communication is leading to a lot of rebellions. That should keep them preoccupied. Oh, we could take Ile de France. It's not worth it. We're dealing with Egyptians. Darn you. <laughs> Darn you game so much. Ah, I think it is. Is it time? No, it's not time. Let's keep sending troops down to Egypt. We need to sort that place out. Uh, otherwise, we're just going to be fighting on two fronts forever. Keep it at one. Okay. When's our next set of ships coming? Not for a little while. We'll have a means to get all the way to... Actually, all the way to Egypt, yeah. Just... No, actually, sorry, I take that back. The Gulf of... What's that? Siora? stops just short unfortunately pop them up little by little I'm very high because we can oh just a, a lone lone soldier all right so they've run into Arabia Hmm. They have a lot of troops in there, but they all kind of suck. Uh, let's send them 
to lay siege. I kind of expect Egypt to attack first, though. Because technically speaking, they should win in a fight. It's just, yeah. We... Mixture of cheating and bad AI. What do we want for you, Egypt? We want... Nothing, because we might lose you, so there's no point in building there. At least not for the stuff that we want, because we could build Tunisia and Algeria up instead. That chapter house? Oh, excellent, get some crusades going. I hadn't even thought of that. It's the perfect time to use crusades. Darn you! <laughs> oh well. And pop them up to 80%. What's our monies? 2-6. Brilliant. Our profits are starting to improve again. Doesn't take long, but just uh, spending a few turns building up, particularly the farming, adds a nice percentage increase to your income. Uh, in which case, is it really worth it? Why not? Let's let's add a few places in. Can you recruit? You can recruit spears and stuff. Let's add that because then we get a few archers. And none of that matters. We expect to lose there. We expect to lose there. We semi expect to lose here. Could move them, but they would be unhappy with that. Yeah. Oh, we can get away with it. Awesome. We can move them. I'll put that down to very low, actually. How many more troops can we can we add in? Probably not. Didn't think so. Where are they? Let's grab these three. Okay, we'll just leave a few behind. Not adding many troops there, but every little helps. Get some spearmen building in Egypt. Uh, we've always got our mercenaries if we need them, but we don't need them yet. And I doth declare that will be enough. Alright, let's end there. They, they didn't they didn't send extras in give that a save although actually I might be saving it for reels in a wee bit um auto <laughs> oh 308 that was what I was worried of I was just thinking with a with a baluster I don't think that would have gone very well if we fought it ourselves, but uh, a lot of troops lost. Oh no! Bandit Rebellion! Yeah, insufficient funds standard. It's fine. Alright, let's have a look at this army. What have they sent? One unit of urban militia. Um, I'm just trying to think. Like maybe a little more than one unit of spearmen is needed, but actually think that will be enough. Or malicious sergeants. That should be enough, yeah, because you just pop one in front and then flank them with everything else. We are going to need to send some troops back, though. Who do we send back? You, you, you. Oh, we can get them, please. Thank you. 102, okay. So everywhere is now happy. Double check that. Alright, everywhere's happy, everything's good. 
We, we have Sinai, but we're going to lose it. They have a lot of armies over here. Uh, although we may be able to abuse the AI and the battle system. Any who's or what's all, that will have to do for now. Going to save it there. I got a few battles in, definitely made some advances into Egypt. Not too sure if we're going to have a chance to make uh, a crusade, but we're going to build a chapter house, see if we can't get away with one. Send them against Egypt, who will likely beat us back. And as for Germany, man, this is... This looks weird. I don't, I don't know what's going on. They just haven't dealt with their loyalty very well at all. Uh, but the problem is, of course, if we start extending and taking all these rebel sections, then we will have the same issues. It's just not going to be worth it. I'm going to pop that in there quickly. Uh, so we're going to do a little more economic stuff, send some more troops down to Egypt, and when that's done, uh, which I imagine will be finished next time, we can then just focus our efforts into dealing with the Germans, or at least whatever's left of the Germans. If we're lucky, we should be able to take a lot of it from rebels. Or a very beaten up Germany after they've taken it back off the rebels. Who knows? Either way is good. Alright, that'll do for now. In a wee bit, guys. Peace out.